Hey guys, it's Allie. It's my birthday today and I wanted to explain the birthday gifts of love um, that I did today on Facebook and Instagram and it was so awesome. Um, it was by far the best birthday I've ever had, even tops my 21st, which is the one most people look forward to, but this was so much fun. So a little rundown about this. My friend Kim did this a few weeks ago on Facebook and I followed her journey all day long when she was giving to people and I thought it was the coolest idea ever. So since my birthday was around the corner, I decided to make a game plan and do it too. So I looked online, just looked up um, some ideas for random acts of kindness and picked the ones that I thought were the best um, and most reflected me. Um, so I made a list and um, yesterday I went out and got everything, got everything put in bags and um, today I went and delivered and sent off all the gifts and it worked out awesome. I was done by noon and I um, hopefully made 29 people's day. So fingers crossed that it was well received. Um, a few of the things that I did were I did, um, I sent some Starbucks cards online to a couple friends, um, which is so easy because you don't even have to send anything in the mail. It's just through an email, which is great. Um, I did the Starbucks um, drive through I dropped some gift cards there for people behind me, so hopefully they enjoyed a free cup of coffee. I did Panera cookies because they're my favorite and I could eat a thousand of them. So I went there and um, had the lady hand them out to the next five people in line. I also did flowers. I went and got flowers and then shoved them in people's um, car, car handles or on their um, windshield wipers. Um, so I kind of stocked the parking lot for that one because um, I didn't want to give it to a guy. So I think I got all women. So fingers crossed. And what did I do? Oh, and... I went to the Dollar Tree and dropped dollar bills in the toy zone and also over at Target I did the same thing um, and hopefully some kids found them and bought a toy that their maybe their mom wouldn't let them have or something um, and then I think that might be it oh and I got um, some stuff for my neighbors um, a few weeks ago I noticed that there were tracks from my neighbors um, porch over to our fence and he had been giving our dog treats which I thought was so freaking sweet so I made a goodie bag for him and his dog he has a dog so I bought um, just some dog treats and a dog toy and I did the same thing for our other neighbor who has a dog and then we have another neighbor who I didn't want to leave out so I just got her some chocolate because she doesn't have any animals so hopefully um, they are excited for that because it's cold here it's um, snowy and gross outside so hopefully this brings some um, excitement to their day so Anyways, that's what I did today, and it was so stinking rewarding. Um, oh, one thing I forgot is um, the last one I did was I sent my mom a gift card um, to go to dinner tonight because, hello, she birthed me, um, and I understand childbirth now, so thank you, Mom. Um, so it was just so freaking awesome. Um, the reason I wanted to do this was mainly because I have four little boys who... I want to learn lessons like this and I want them to do things like this when they get older and even right now my oldest is um, almost six and he's finally getting um, the act of giving and you know giving is better than receiving so this is a huge lesson to teach him because he knew today was my birthday and he made me cupcakes which was so sweet yesterday but he um, got to see me making these gift bags for people and I told him this morning on the way to school that um, even though it was my birthday, I was going to be giving to people and he, he was so confused because every time we go to birthday parties, um, you buy them a gift and they open their gifts and it's all about them. So I just wanted to show, um, him that it's, you know, I understand it is your birthday and, um, we should celebrate your birth and all that stuff. But so many people in this world are me, me, me. And, um, sometimes the giving gets lost. So I just kind of want to bring it back. And um, hopefully um, I can continue doing this and hopefully my kids will start wanting to do this. And um, hopefully um, some of my friends said they're going to do this also. So hopefully we can just create a nice little momentum of people being nice and making people happy because there's so much bitterness out there. I swear every time um, I go to the grocery store, there's just dirty looks everywhere and people are just not very friendly. Um, and hopefully things like this will bring out the niceness in people and make them want to, um, you know, maybe smile a little bit or um, just be nice. I don't know. So that's just my goal is to um, 
break the negativity in the world. There's so much horrible stuff on um, the news. I can't even watch it anymore because it's so depressing. So hopefully that, like, just things like this. If people just, um, you know, open a door for somebody, give somebody a flower, um, take your neighbor some cookies. Just small things can create big movements and change people's eyes and um, make them see that there is love and life is good and there's good out there. And that is just my main goal for this. I know I'm just talking in circles, but I can't explain how awesome today was. It was so great to do things for um, strangers. Um, and hopefully, you know, it made their day. And I just am so grateful for everything that um, I have in my life. I have a beautiful family and four kids, and I am so blessed. So I hope that I can share my love with all of you guys. And I hope that you guys do it too, because it was so stinking rewarding so there you go if you do this um hashtag b day gifts of love i think that's what i did i'll put it below but um i totally encourage you guys to do this and um to carry it on so have a great day bye